I'm extremely disappointed, of course, about tonight's result and ultimately our exit from the competition. We haven't progressed as far as I thought we were capable of and that's obviously not acceptable. I'm actually proud of the work that my coaching staff and I have achieved during our time at the helm with England. The transition from a squad whose average age was 30 to now being the youngest in the tournament is both remarkable and exciting for the future of English football. I'd have, I would have loved to stay on for another two years. However, I'm pragmatic and know that we are in the results business. My contract was always up after the Euros. So now is the time for someone else to oversee the progress of this young, hungry and extremely talented group of players. They've been fantastic and they've done everything that's been asked of them. When I arrived, I was told that players didn't turn up to play for their country or that they pull out at the last minute, but I've not seen any of that. These players love to play for their country and their commitment has been unquestionable. Ray and Gary have asked me to speak on their behalf. They arrive with me as part of my coaching team and they'll leave with me. I'd like to thank them for their dedicated support and for the major part they've played in our team preparation. Finally, I'd like to thank all the support staff, players, the FA and of course the fans. It's been a fantastic journey these four years. And it's one I'll look back with, back on, I should say, or remember, with pride. Finally, I'd like to thank you, the media, for the support that you've given me during the four years. I'm sorry it's had to end this way with another exit from the tournament. But these things happen, and all I can do is wish everybody all the very best uh, and hope that you will still be able to see an England team in a final of a major tournament fairly soon, we've been unable to deliver. Thank you very much.